Final Cut Express's filters are organized into categories and are accessed from the Effects tab in the browser. The most visual way to work with filters is to position the timeline playhead over the clip, apply a filter, and the resulting changes are displayed in the canvas. Double click the clip in the timeline and click on the Filters tab in the viewer. You can see your modifications update in the canvas. Filters can be animated by using keyframes to change their parameters over time. Okay, okay. so my question is for that thing that I just showed you, it can, like, you don't have to render when you just move a clip over, but for mine, like, if I click and drag this over here, you have to render it. I have to render it every time. Like, I'll do sequence, or, hold on. Yeah, so it has the red, and then render both. Okay. Now it's rendering. And I have to wait, like, a couple minutes for this to be done. <laughs> And thank you for watching this. Um, <laughs> and I hope somebody can help. But yeah. Estimated time, about a minute. <laughs> Halfway done. 50%. Seventy five per cent. No. No. Okay, so that's rendered. And then now I can wa watch it. Like. That's weird. Alright, but um. So I can watch it. But then if I go to effects, and if I want to put in something, like the basic border, and click and drag it into there. Yeah, so now I have to re-render it. And for like me, you have to re-render after like every single change you make. And for the tutorial that it should, you barely have to render. It doesn't even really say anything about rendering. So I'm confused. And I'd appreciate it if somebody could help me. And thank you for watching this. Bye.